Hey everybody, I'm here with the Qantas, one of my favorite pieces, and I'm gonna run through quickly how to use it and how to tell the time on it. So you can see that little triangle up there, that's a little marker letting you know what time it is. Right now, it is, when I put it to 1060, that just means it's 10 o'clock. As the time starts moving forward, it'll rotate to the right, like this. So anytime you, see, you have to look at the number to the right to know what time it is. So that would be 10, and right over there would be 30. 1035, 1040, 1045, all the way to 60, which now makes it 11, and so forth. So 1130 would be right here, 12 would be right here, 1215 would be right here, and so on. Okay, now this is a manual wind watch, meaning it doesn't wind based on the movement of your wrist, it actually has to be hand wound. And as you can see, the more I wind it, both wheels will start to spin. Some of these require a good 30 to 40 uh, turns before the mainspring actually is, is tight. Uh, so it's important to wind it a lot and then see if both wheels kick in at that point. Okay, they'll both kick in at different times. So for now, I'm not gonna wind it like crazy, but that's, that's the main idea. As you can see, both wheels are now spinning and it'll keep time. If you do not wind it every day, the watch will, uh, will die. The power reserve will come down to zero. When the watch is shipped, it's shipped with the buckle in this kind of uh, position. So a lot of people say, oh, it's not a complete watch, the, the buckle's not complete. But actually, uh, we've had that question quite a few times. This is completely normal for the watch. What you actually wanna do is click on these release clasps and that will open up the buckle. You see, so I push on the side of those buttons, like so, and I pull it out. Now here, I just pop this open, and now I slide it inside and along to the right side. So let's say me, I have about a seven inch wrist. I put it right about there. And now I never have to set it again. It'll always stay there once I close this. And to put it on, I literally just have to take this, pass it through, so I'm looking at the camera as I do this and close it. Now it won't open until I push these release clasps. And when I push the release clasps, see it opens that much. If you wanna see it on my wrist, this is how easy it is to close. You just take it over, put this piece here, and now it's closed. It'll always be in the right size for my wrist, which is what you're after. And when I wanna take it off, I just push those release clasps one more time. This is how fast it is. Over here, closed position, push the release, open, pop this, slide it to the right size, and close it. So for me, it's the third hole, and now the watch is in its set position for my wrist, and so on, close it, and there you go. As you can see, it's very cool on the wrist. And you can always just wind it any time of the day and you'll feel it get tight. It won't let you overwind it, it'll just get really tight and you'll know that it's time to stop winding it. Time's already changing on this one as you can see here. And if I wanna set the time more, I just pull up and I always rotate the crown away from myself to make sure the discs are rotating to their right. And then I close it. There you go.